it's a very mixed up roster for this Christos side, but they've all played in some pretty big games. Plenty of talent, no doubt about that. Guys that have represented some of the colleges at the highest level. Cody Albrecht, one of them, part of the Maryland team back in 2016. He captained them. That won 15 games in a row. Again, talent's not going to be an issue here. It's how quickly against a professional side can you get everybody headed in the right direction. Fans here have awaited the return of the Open Cup. There have been glorious moments for both these franchises in this tournament. And they begin with their head full of dreams. To get into the professional ranks, right? You go into the academy, you move into the reserves, find your way into the youth national team pool. A couple of first team appearances, maybe it's an academy loan or a second team opportunity, and you're on your way. There is no perfect way for any of these players. Good ball in. Extra touch atop the area, ball blasted off the bar. The first really good chance belongs to Christos. As well, because look at all the space available because of how aggressive they've been on the ball. Max G. Schenfeld very high up in possession, loses track of the space and the runner in behind. It, and it wouldn't be shocking to see him score 20. You just hope Cam stays healthy. I believe Lancaster put that season together. Am I wrong in saying that's uh, Richmond's final year in the championship before dropping to League One? 2018. 18 or 19. Time being the flat circle that it is. They should pay someone to know this. From long range. And that's as easy as it'll get. Daniel McCleary. Chester United. Two goals to nil. Although they had some finger licking good signs. The old Bay Brigade. Well done. Baswa. You ever had Old Bay on avocado toast? I should. Good pregame meal. Excellent energy. Could use a jolt of it right now for either one of these squads sort of going through the motions. Now we've got some activity. And the heartburn that usually follows said Old Bay avocado toast. Pick back up here by Richmond. That took an awkward skip in part due to a deflection according to the kicker's players. That's gone unheard by the referee. These are the mistakes you can't make. It's not the best of decisions to try and get cute coming off the back line. Give them credit for the most part. Christos have done a, a fairly good job of when they've taken their chances, keeping everything on the outside. This one coming right down the middle and Again, the higher line that you're getting, shifting side to side, just allowing Richmond to maintain the overall possession, though they don't really have anything to show for it. One additional minute. And I'd make the argument that... Oh, trouble in the back! Richmond has their goal! That is a disastrous moment after a strong and stout opening half from Christos. And in stoppage time, the kickers are ahead. The breakthrough they've been waiting for. All that organization 20. finally gets them into trouble. Direct ball, Pablo Hara. That got them out of the last round of qualifying. Well, halftime arrives and Richmond is ahead. In their limited Open Cup experience, they look to come back here in the second half, and if they can do so, spring the latest upset over a professional side. The side from Baltimore and the side from Richmond underway in the second half of the first round of the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. Halftime substitution for Christos FC. Out, number 14, Elijah Belcher. In, number 10, Alejandro Arbelayev. 10 in for 14. Alejandro Arbeles comes in, former Maryland Bobcat, as this snagged by Hara, who had nothing to do in the first half. He's a busy boy to start the second. 
Belcher came off at the half for Christos. Play on. Again, this Richmond team, very aggressive. Well, I appreciated that there were clubs yesterday that put the U.S. Open Cup logo, the, the shield you see in the upper left corner of your screen on their jersey. If we can do a debut patch in Major League Soccer, I'm confident we can find enough patches for the Open Cup. Arbelez plays it off. That's a clever touch by Boswa to open this up now. Blasted toward frame, and that's a simple save for McCleary on Sukow. Sukow, a couple goals last year. Approaching inside the penalty area, laid off. Sukow on the turn. Bill Hart blocked. And a Christos player down to one knee. The penalty area. He's back up. And this is friendly fire out for a goal kick. That's too cute from the Richmond kickers. And if you're Darren Sawatsky on the sideline, you're going to have a word going back through video review on this opportunity that just presented itself. Why you don't let this fly sooner, right there off your left foot, to then pivot away from goal. Convolute the entire situation. I get it. You find Adrian Bilhart bringing up support from the rear. Still, the second one of the night, and distancing yourself from Christo should have been much easier than that. Once again, last call for adult beverages. Recovered by Richmond. By the way, I'm, I'm glad that the public address script is taken after your verbiage for beverages of the adult variety. Big Coquito fan, apparently. Simmons. Full head of steam. That'll curl the wrong way. Riding like the old Nimbus 2000. I respect Wayward. the decision making though. Watch out quickly. Even off the mistake, he's right into it. Stretches away from the back line using the speed. And watch this touch here. Big move away from the body. Let's say that there's a good amount of momentum there by Josh Morgan. Didn't get closed off on his hips. Kept his stride wide open to allow him to track the attacker. On the line from Harris. Pro hopping over the line, Fitch. This will belong to Richmond. Whistle play on, stabbed over by Simmons and sent toward frame. McCleary. Better ball movement from Richmond overall. Good hold up play. This addition, Simmons coming down into the pocket. Really have to respect the Attributes that he's been able to show off so far. Decision making, good vision, speed up top, and quality feet down in the pocket. And 
major player behind the play. And uh, this may be a real problem for Nick Richardson. Richmond looking for their second. Simmons! Simmons! Kick save and an awkward one. And sent away. Delivery to the near post and right into the hands of McCleary, who tormented League One and League Two with South Georgia. Vignoles could throw the dagger. Vignoles scoops straight into the air. Sirakowski got beneath it. Now McCleary says hello to my little friend. Not the cleanest of touches tonight for either one of these teams. This right here, and Sarah Kelsey, a couple of years ago, probably would have taken it one time and put it into the bottom corner. Tony Pineda now steps in for Darren Sawatsky to help finish them off. Hoping he's the chosen one to help lead them to victory. Zaka, who came in. Simmons. Oh, it's there now for the kickers to try and finish it. Friendly reminder, by the way, this young man up top, Nicholas Simmons, 17 years of age. So wise, dragging both defenders with him. The wherewithal to cut it back. The clean ball played back across. Everything done right for his compatriot. Sirkowski broke it up. Simmons. Sirkowski. Vigneault's keeper is way out now. He's going to need a bigger boat. Ball lofted back the other way. That's cleared by Morgan. Now Richmond starting to pick it off with more frequency. Vaughn. Look at Sirakowski on the back post. Vignoles was never quite able to spin and find that floating run. One goal for Christos, and suddenly this all goes haywire for Richmond, trying to see it over the line. For the corner flag. And that is a corner for Christos. Dev, if you're Christos, where are you looking? I'm taking my time, first off, because I haven't had a lot of attacking opportunities. Mize immediately just walking into the screen, look towards the top of the 18. Otherwise, the amount of bodies you have crash in the top of the six. Well, there it was. Oh, you're a wizard, Devin. Close. Back into the penalty area, that smash down. Watch out. He was onside. Simmons by his lonesome. Simmons! He's definitely onside here. 
plenty of space to run into. That touch right there, thought he was going to take a little bit further to allow him to get inside the top of the 18. And surprised he doesn't go for the theatrical and chip the goalkeeper from distance. That's a tackle. High drama in the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cups opening round. I'm pretty sure a card's going to the sideline of Christos right now, and it might have been someone who was just thrown out. It's not Drew Belcher. I don't believe. Yeah, it went to the assistant coach. Well, I'm going to assume it's Larry. Only two coaches on the card. A red card has been issued to the Christian. I think it's going to be about the moment that was red card. done on this end it's just in the box prior. The argument for a handball going to ground came off a kicker's player. Batted away. Well, penalty area. That red card will only allow him to beat the traffic. <laughs> Eight added minutes. Wake up call. We've hardly just begun. In front, bouncing, Hara! Held on to it. Here's looking at you, kid, into the penalty area. Tipped across and wide. Well, Richmond keeps this up. They just keep saying, go ahead, make my day. I'm telling you, momentum has swung the other direction a long time ago. It's coming. Header away, still it's Christos. Spinning, circulating, getting away from the defender. Lays the cross, diving header wide. Maybe just a matter of seconds. It is full time and the Richmond kickers advance to the second round. Christos out of the open cup. And 